How did you come up with the idea of the outdoor classroom? Oh. Well, I have a, a young daughter that's in kindergarten, a little younger than you girls, a lot younger maybe. Uh, <laughs> so we used to come out in here and play. And I, then I started, once as a landscape architect, somebody always looks at outdoor spaces and trees. You know, you, you start to look at the, every space that you're in. So I started to see that, that the space had, you know, some debris. It had things that could be a lot more interesting. It had invasive plant materials that were crowding out the edges and keeping you kids from getting into the woods. So then I, I, I approached Vicky about trying to reconfigure this to make, make the quality of the playground equal to the quality of the school inside. So then uh, I had the good fortune of just being able to <laughs> kind of do it, think of it in my head and put it on the plan and then have everybody help execute it, which is not a common thing in this world. Um, so it came from playing out here with my daughter, to make it short. So I came out here with somebody like yourself and I started to play and look at the trees and shrubs and, and start to have a different vision for how it could all go together. It could be done in one single, one single year from March to November, but I knew it could be done if there was the money to do it, but I knew that wasn't the case. But actually we did it in two years, which is really fast. So that was really great. So I thought one year, but we did it in two years, and I think that exceeded everyone yeah. else's expectations. Absolutely. But Absolutely. I mean, I mean, I, I I tried to keep it moving. That was keep my job. Moving. I wanted to keep it moving to execute, realize the plan, so people could enjoy it sooner than later. So the kids here now can enjoy it rather than coming back, you know, when they're middle schoolers or high schoolers. Anybody else have a question? What are you most proud of? Well, there's a lot of things, uh, but I think the, the most, the thing I'm most proud of is the, the people that came together as a community to make it happen, because without your parents, you, and the teachers here, it wouldn't have happened. And I think, you know, being part of the, the catalyst to make that happen is a really gratifying thing, because now we're part of something that's bigger than all of us and we're part of something that wasn't here two years ago. It won't, and, and we'll, we'll continue to grow and improve over the course of the years. So yeah, that's, that's the single thing. But I like, some, I like some of the design elements too. The climbing mounds are wicked fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Already. I like that a lot. And yeah. you know, there's a lot of native plants out here. I love all that. You'll, you'll get to see the sassafras, the tulip tree. This is a, a sweet gum. It has a a star-shaped flower, little things like that you people won't realize until they realize it, but it's not that evident right now. What? Anybody else? Devin. Devin? Has a Devin? What were you like as a child? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think I was exceedingly playful. My, I had a younger brother, uh, 18 months younger, and we played constantly out in the woods like that. So. If you see that, that jungly area over there, I had an area like that when I was a boy that we actually walked through to go to school. So that, that, that exposure to being able to make my way through the woods in the meadows and the wet grass and the swamps just to get to school was really, really, uh, really affected the way I viewed the world as an adult. So playing with my brother, making up games, even games out of sticks, we made up all sorts of crazy games just because we left to play. So that's, in part, a little bit of what I was like.